called the, the best scripted reality show on television. It takes a look at the insanity that goes on behind the scenes of reality dating shows. I know you want to know about what's going on. Oh, here we Yeah, so let's start with Sheree Alvey <laughs> and Constance Zimmer. They're here live to tell us all about being Hi. unreal. So we're going to get unreal, right? Unreal. Unreal, Don't baby. Is 854, have you ever wondered what happens behind the set of a dating reality show? Well, you know, there's a couple of shows out there. Well, the new TV show takes you inside, deep inside the secrets, deception, and manipulation. It's almost too unreal. <laughs> it is time to polish off Plan B. Head for the border, pool, Mai Tai, John Le Carre novel, getting massaged by a boyfriend who barely speaks English. What's yours? You kind of took away all of my plan Bs, remember? Indefinite for servitude. Well then, you better come up with one. Oh. 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 So <laughs> devious. <laughs> Joining us now to talk about their characters and what's being called the best scripted reality show on television. Oh. Please Our welcome nice. Sherry Appleby and Constance Zimmer. Good morning, ladies. Hi. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning. So uh, I'll just tell you right off the bat, I have not seen this show yet, okay? I, I feel bad about it because yesterday in our meeting, we talked about this, and all the producers were like, this is the best. Why are you not watching this show? Amazing. What, what do you think about the reaction to your show? I, I, I mean, we've been completely we surprised. And <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think more than anything is that men and women are loving the show, even though they don't want to admit that they are. Okay. And I think that's kind of the best show to be on when People are like, I didn't want to watch it, but then I did, and now I can't not watch it. And so that's the biggest well, compliment you can get. And the best thing is like you really uh, put, pulled the veil back as yeah. to what's happening in reality TV. And for all those people, it's a fictional TV show about what happens behind the scenes of a so-called reality dating show. Right, but I think also what's important is that people think they're not gonna like it because they maybe don't watch reality television right. or they don't like reality television, but you don't have to know it, like it, yeah. not like it's it. It's really a show about the people it's... that are making reality shows and how they're sort of conflicted with their own morals right. about what they're doing. And it's really a story about the relationships between all of these people. And kind of the manipulation of the entire entertainment industry yeah. as a whole. We just have it set in a reality television okay. world. So, Hannah, let me ask you a question. Yes. Now, have people from reality shows and casting agents and everybody like that kind of given you feedback and Snooki said, you know, are you serious? Like yeah. super supportive. She's always tweeting how much she loves this show and that this is what goes on. Well, she was very candid. She's been on our show so many times and she's been very candid about what happened to her on the Jersey Shore and really how she sort of had to take the control back eventually when she became Snooki, if you know right. what I mean. Yeah, you, you have to become almost your own producer mm -hmm. on those shows in order to have any control over the people who are making the show. But I'm surprised I'm because we've been live tweeting and a lot of like reality show stars have been tweeting along saying that this is what goes on wow. and a lot of different yeah. publications have been showing them the show and asking them how real it is compared to their experiences and they've been breaking it down yeah. and they're like that happens that happens that might be a little exaggerated but it happens <laughs> and <laughs> it's been kind of amazingly positive yeah. tell me this has this ruined reality tv for you like can you now sit down and enjoy a reality show or or, or now because you know mm -hmm. of, of how much terrible how many terrible things are happening behind the scenes? <laughs> that we're, we're, we're the downfall of reality. <laughs> oh, no, no. no. I was look already TV? ruined for yeah. me. I mean, I think that because I was a huge fan of like the Real World, like the first, oh, that was the the original. first original. Yeah. That was good, right? That was amazing. And then once people, and then it kind of spread and it's yeah. gotten watered down, and they're running well, out of ideas. Now it's about the fight: who's who's more bombastic? Right. Who's going to pit who against who? But it's I think like all the thing. contestants that are going on the reality shows now yeah. know what they're signing up for, and they know what they have to gain after the show. Shows. There's a lot to gain, so there's not this like naive, naive, naive naivete. Thank you so much. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> no, they all get business managers, exactly. and they all get book deals, and they all start hawking their own lines and stuff like that. Yeah, they that. open salons, they have perfumes, they have skinny margarita yeah. mixes. Like it's like, hey, whatever. I want to sell something. I'll go on a reality show. Uh, my my wife is a huge fan of The Bachelorette. I come home and she, I, I see it. I, I I walk out of the room. I can't stand it, right? I but I, but I, I, you know, because you know, it's good. Oh How many people can she make I out with? Like, you know, whatever. I didn't make out with too bad. And I kiss this guy and I did you know, I, I, I'm just like, why, why are you watching this? It's but, like football for women. Yeah, but but you actually uh, recorded recently about, you know, uh, Caitlyn being sort of shamed for having yeah, sex. Well, that was well they were asking me about it. I didn't realize it would become such a story, but they were asking me what I thought of it. And I said, you know what? It's just the producers creating a story. It's giving them another episode of something to talk about. Like, men are on the sex on the show are having sex. Yes, they yeah. are. And they're not, like, making some massive headlines on it. They're not on yeah. Us Weekly talking about it. Yeah. But because it's a woman, the producers are spinning it in a way. I don't really feel like it was fair yeah. to her.
It, no, no, it's definitely no. not fair. And, there, her, and, and you shouldn't shame her. No, you there's nothing shame wrong. Like that. She's right. dating some guy. Yeah. She's it's all about tease video. It's all about right? selling the story, getting the ratings up, it's so exactly right. the advertisers and everybody else can make money because that's yep. what television does. By the way, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thanks it's for fantastic. having us. Yeah. Thank you. And we're really <laughs> Thank excited. You. Thank you. Um, remember, Unreal airs on Lifetime on Monday nights. Yeah. It is definitely a must-see, must-see, must-see.